wash over me, leave me far from my surroundings. Take over me, over every rushing memory, if only for a moment. Oh, this could be my last chance. Sail on with me, up here we know we're safe from the crashing wind And talk to me, fill my lungs with the air your heart is breathing If only for a moment, oh this could be my last chance people have made it through security to be here in front of our very own main stage with the village behind us and an all access VIP ticket to the event of the summer. Think of yourselves as the festival roadies if you like, playing a vital role in making this day as magical as it can be. And they are so grateful to every single one of you for being here today. You are the ones 
that have been there through thick and thin, lending a listening ear and celebrating their triumphs. Summoning his inner Cupid, Will swiped right, and just like that, the digital universe aligned and Alex and Will became a match made in App Heaven. They chatted non-stop for a solid two days, discovering so many things they had in common. And then all of a sudden, Will just stopped texting. Radio silence. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Probably doing something epically cool. He always tells her how much he misses her and that he can't wait to be home with her, Ronnie and Ozzy. It's the simplicity of two people in love with their cats that they treat as their babies. With our cats are in love with each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unconditional love. One filled with cat cuddles, cat hay and 3am litter tra changes. And Ronnie and Izzy, uh, Ozzy are certainly... <laughs> Sorry, Izzy. <laughs> Ronnie and Ozzy are certainly living their best lives. So Alex responding with, I do. Do you choose Will to be your husband? To comfort him in the worst days and celebrate with him in the best days? And do you promise to never be boring? Always stay out for one more drink and always be the first on the dance floor? I do. And Will, responding with I do. Do you choose Alex to be your wife? To comfort her in the worst days and to celebrate with her in the best days? Do you promise to never be boring? Always stay out for one more drink and always be the first on the dance floor? I do. I join my life with yours today. Without hesitation and with an open and trusting heart. Whatever we may encounter. Let us encounter it together. With a sense of adventure. And a step into the unknown. I promise to be your friend and partner. And to walk beside you always. <laughs> to love you with all that I am as you love me. To support, respect and share with you in all of life's decisions through joy and sadness, success and uncertainty, laughter and tears, to have you in my life every day for as long as we both live. Alex, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. Alex, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. Let it be a reminder that we face this world together. Let it be a reminder that we face this world together. A reminder that you'll always have a place to come home to. A reminder that you'll always have a place to come home to. Where you can completely be yourself. Where you can completely be yourself. I take you always as my husband. I take you always as my husband. And if you'd like to pinch your thumb and finger together and pull your hands through, you will have safely tied the knot. <laughs> And, it worked. <laughs> and can I just say, a knot tied in water and in water is yeah. always that little bit stronger. Alex and Will have here before us pledged their love and commitment. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife. <laughs> She doesn't know
black mold. It's prom night and I am lonely, low and behold. She's walking over to me. This must be fake. My lip starts to shake. How does she know who I am? And why does she give a damn about? <laughs> Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you all to this um, fantastic occasion of the marriage of my gorgeous daughter and William. <laughs> and I think they're milking this coming in all the time, every five minutes. I mean, but hey ho. We are, Millie and I, the proudest parents in the world at the moment. Um, and Alex looks stunning with her hair, as I said before. But when she was six years old and we were living in Fallingbossel in Germany, um, Millie used to go off to Kos Kosovo and Bosnia, leaving me at home with the three children. Alex wouldn't let me touch her hair, because I can't do hair, I, as you can see. That's not... <laughs> but her teacher used to say to me, Jeff, I see your wife's away again. I said, why? Because Alex used to come with more bobbles. She looked like Bjork. <laughs> I don't know if you, everybody knows Bjork, but that's what she used to look like. And she thought she was the bee's knees. Well, she was and still is the bee's knees. Will is a real credit um, to his parents. Um, he's, he's a lovely guy, he's very polite. He loves my daughter and look after her, I know he will. Um, he yeah, he better. <laughs> and I like you all, this is the, that's all I'm gonna say. I mean, lovely couple, fantastic. They're gonna spend years and years together on adventures and, of, and things, they love each other. So I'd like you all to raise your glasses if possible to Will and Alex. Mansa Jeffrey. <laughs> to the most gorgeous couple in the room. Well done. Aww, my bride. <laughs> there aren't really the words to describe what you mean to me, but I'll give it a shot. When we first matched on Tinder, I honestly wasn't sure if you were real or not, and I'm still not quite sure now. It's like I made you in a factory. You're a beautiful person inside and out, and you're my biggest fan and supporter. Without a doubt, I would not be where I am today without your love, support, and occasional tough love. You've truly helped me become the version that I've always wanted to see of myself. You're an amazing cat mum to Ronnie and Ozzy, and they definitely love you more than they love me. But I find as more and more as I get older and we spend more time together, every time I go away, all I want to do is be at home with you and the cats. And that's absolutely from the heart. It's the best time of my life and I love you. I can't believe I'm going to be your husband. I am your husband. <laughs> I'm still talking like the wedding's in a year. Um, I can't wait to share all the adventures we're going to have over our lifetime. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Final bit. Finally, if I may invoke just a tiny bit of military mess etiquette, if you'd all please stand, if you're able to. Me? You can do. And raise a drink to my new wife, ladies and gentlemen, my beautiful bride, Alex. 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 Over to you, Kyle. So I just want to say, Alex, in all seriousness, I don't normally, I'm not normally serious, but in all seriousness, thank you very much for making, making my favourite person in the world happy because I've never seen him so happy before in my life. And I've, trust me, I've tried. <laughs> I have tried. Yeah. And he is a happy man now. And I, I thank you so much for that. I don't know what you have that I don't have. <laughs> but whatever it is, is working. So thanks for that. 
<laughs> well, you're doing well, keep going. Can you know, I need a whiskey? Yeah, I'll get you one off this. So yeah, very happy man, appreciate that. Will, I'm chuffed for you, mate. You've, you've found a girl of your dreams, you've got the job of your dreams, you're absolutely crushing life, and I'm, I'm so chuffed for you, mate. Um, I'm gonna leave you on this part in words. May the seed of your loin be fruitful in the belly of your woman. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> Ladies and gents, raise the glass! <laughs> Will and Alex! Go, <laughs> Vanish. Thanks, man.
Everyone cheer. One, two.